using conform object to fit a pair of goggles. This video demonstrates how you can use conform objects lattice deformation feature along with grid smoothing to wrap a pair of goggles around a head and get rid of jagged edges. Here I have a flat pair of goggles that I want to wrap around an object's head. The goggles were created by printed bits and a link to their Instagram page is in the description. The goggles are my source object and the figure's head is the target object. Firstly, I select the source object and then I press shift and select the target object last. I then select the conform object option. It looks pretty messy to start. By enabling grid visibility, we can see this is because only the middle part of the deformation grid is being projected onto the head. Hide the grid again and let's use the lattice feature to fix this. Under the projection settings, go to the deformation grid settings and click the lattice icon next to the header. This creates a lattice object we will use to deform the grid. Expand the deformation grid section and under the lattice settings, increase the U parameter to about eight and decrease the V parameter to one. This creates an eight by one lattice that we can use to move points around the head. Let's press seven to go to the top view. Select the lattice and press tab to go to edit mode. You might want to change your line width settings under edit preferences to thick to see the lattice points more clearly. Now, border select each pair of points on each side of the lattice and move and scale them into position around the head. Here I am working around each pair of points and do this until the lattice surrounds the head. You'll see the goggles update in real time. Let's take a look at the side view of the head. You might want to move the points a little to adjust the shape more. Remember, you can restrict movement to an axis by pressing G and then the axis letter. The front of the goggles still look messy and is a common issue. Why is this? Select the source object and under the data properties tab on the right, click toggle grid visibility under the conform object section to see the deformation grid. You'll see that the resolution of the grid is jagged around the head, which causes the source object to have jagged edges as the grid is not smooth enough. We can apply grid smoothing in conform object to smooth out the grid to give the object a better shape. With the source object still selected, press shift to select the lattice as well, and then press shift again to select the target object last. Rerun the conform object operation. Because the lattice is also selected, the add-on will rerun the operation, but use this lattice instead. This way, we can refresh our changes without having to redo the lattice. Show the grid again by clicking the eye icon in the left-hand panel. Expand the deformation grid settings. Let's decrease the X subdivisions first to about five as we don't need as many along this axis. Now increase the grid smoothing parameter. The density of the grid will increase where a subdivision surface modifier is being applied to the grid. Hide the grid again with the eye icon and continue to increase this smoothing parameter. Be careful your settings are not too high as there will be a performance hit. Temporarily hide all helper objects by unchecking the overlays panel along the top. You can see we have a much smoother result for the deformation. We hope this helps explore a slightly more involved scenario for conform object. If you're having issues, you can get in touch via info at configurate.net or join our conform object discord channel linked in the description. Thanks for listening.